for that. Now let's go to Parliament and something that's really gaining a lot of momentum because it led to the death of a 31-year-old. The minority in Parliament is demanding a full-scale probe into circumstances leading to the death of a 31-year-old woman, allegedly due to a delay in transporting the deceased via ambulance service following a dispute over the cost. Now, a report by Komla Kluche. What of food anyway, you know? Think in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look up. Oh, now. Nah. Man, they, 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 they have to drive back to Fijia Hospital. So, oh, senior. Young girl, now, maybe I'm going to say I will pay. An emotional John O'Brien, husband to the 31 year old deceased, narrating the ordeal the wife went through leading to a death. The deceased Augustina Awache lost her life earlier this month after ambulance personnel allegedly delayed her transportation via ambulance to Accra after doctors referred her from the Holy Child Clinic at Fija in Takradi to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. We were at the entrance. We stood there. <laughs> he stood there. He stood there. He stood there. He stood there. They were going up and down. And so that man came to tell me there. Uh, why are you there? 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 Why are I by time the moon there may read in there. Well, precise time. Now one brass band I catch a dab and there. Uncle Chasing the eight thirty eight. Uncle Chasing the eight thirty eight. Meaning it was at that time that my wife. The minority side of the health committee visiting the husband of the deceased on Wednesday expressed the speaker and parliament condolences to the family extending a commitment that the matter will be probed. The minority also made an unspecified donation to the family. The minority group, led by its ranking member on health, proceeded to the Holy Family Child Hospital where the deceased had received health care until her death to ascertain the veracity of the allegation. If the ambulance driver and the crew could be interdicted pending investigation, that would not be bad at all. That would not be bad. If there could be some kind of action before the investigation commenced, so that after the investigation, if they are exonerated, they can resume their duties. The subsequent allegation by the family that the personnel of the ambulance service had made comments suggesting that they could use her time of death as a lotto number. All of it, the minority side of the health committee is demanding a proper investigation into for it to set the tone for a proper standardized operation of the National Ambulance Service. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Fijai.